Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome everybody to another episode of our 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today we are going to start making our way to Cabot House. So without further ado, let's get started. Got a problem. Actually, hold on. We got a level. And I want to put that into Rifleman. Let's go inside the third rail. Downstairs. Don't bother the other patrons. We want to finish up uh, some of the side stuff here in the, not the third rail, but huh? in Good Neighbor. Don't have no handouts. Buddy, I need to be Can't a Can't say I'm surprised to find well, you in a dump like this, McCready. Right I was wondering how long it would take your bloodhounds to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? It ain't like that. I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah, I heard. But you're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. That isn't going to work for us. I don't take orders from you. Not anymore. So why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? What? Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, McCready. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with Good Neighbor. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you never learned. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating inside gunner territory, all bets are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. Come on, Barnes. Look, pal. If you're preaching about the Atom or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy. If you need a hired gun, then maybe we can talk. Maybe. Why don't you tell me who those guys were first? A couple of morons looking to climb the ladder of success by stepping on everyone else on the way up. Shouldn't be surprised, though. That's how it goes when you run with the Gunners. Never heard of the Gunners. Who are they? One of the biggest gangs in the Commonwealth. Got a rep for being crazy. You know, so tightly wound, you think they were a cult or something? Stuck with them for a while because the money was good, but they never fit in. That's why I made a clean break and started flying solo. Now what about you? How do I know I won't end up with a bullet in my back? You don't. That's part of the risk, right? Can't argue with that. I'll tell you what. The price is 250 caps. Up front. There's no room for bargaining. What do you say? Everything's negotiable. Would you take 200? You drive a hard bargain. But you just bought yourself an extra gun. All right, boss. Let's get out of here. McCready's a cool uh, companion. Even though he's gonna sit. <laughs> All right. Uh, whatever. Float your boat there, bud. Let's talk to Whitechapel, Charlie. Boy, we got beer. You ain't buying beer. You ain't buying. We need to buy a beer or some kind of alcoholic beverage to be able to get him to give us a job. So let's do that now. I'll take a look. Sure. Don't have more than you can handle. Now that you're licked up, got a proposition for you. I need a dirty boy to do some dirty, dirty work. Blood on the pavement, bodies in the ground, that kind of thing. Interested? I want to hear the details first. I got a certain anonymous client who's paying top dollar for a clean-up job. Three locations. Everyone inside. No witnesses. Only catch? It's all in town. The old warehouses, so I can't use my regulars. Too noticeable. That's where you come in. The job's 200 caps. Payment after it's done. And don't worry. I'll know when it is. I don't do work unless I know who's paying the bills. All right, Gov. Not 
like it's a big secret who I represent. Mayor Hancock is fronting the caps. Internal political struggle. You know how it is. Look, it's nothing you need to be concerned about. Just clear out the warehouses and get paid. Simple. Three locations? That's a lot of time. A lot of bullets. Well, I guess we could sweeten the pot a bit. Two fifty. Too low. Barely covers the risks. All right, Gov. Three hundred. More money, Charlie. Giving me a right kick in the elbows. We'll make it four hundred, but that's as high as I'm going. I'll get it done. <laughs> you better. Now go out there and bust some heads. Always a good time. Smell good that? That's freedom. Isn't it? I hope you're having one. Let's go complete this side mission here for Whitechapel Charlie. Yeah. Nothing says welcome like the stench of urine soaked garbage. We're going to have to lock pick these doors. Be careful. This is uh, kind of like breaking the law. It's not kind of like breaking the law. It is. Sweet. Immediately oh, sees me. Damn. Feeling eyes on my back. <laughs> That's how we do things around here. Oh, I'll take <laughs> That's what I call a confirmed kill. All we have to do is just kill everybody in these uh, houses or warehouses. I, I think they're warehouses. Um, and we complete the mission. McCready likes when you steal. Um, so that's pretty much how we're going to be leveling him up. Stealing and asking for more money from people. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> First aid kit did not want to work with me. Let's go to the next uh, warehouse. That's it. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned it, but what you... The? You do want to sneak when you're lockpicking these doors because if somebody does see you, they're going to either tell the guards or if it's a guard, they're going to shoot you. Because again, you're committing a crime. Oh, wow. Motherfucker, that guy was uh not wanting to die. To give me the slip. That and I Play guess I was over. being a shitty shot. Ooh, ooh. Waste of time. Um oh everybody's dead. It's alright. We come up here. Grab a little bit of loot. We have one last warehouse to take care of, and then we can go back to Whitechapel Charlie 
And I think what we'll do is we'll talk to Mayor Hancock. Let's go outside this door. Huh? Don't have no handouts. Just get up real close to this door and you should be hidden. Got it. Hey, you find it yet? What's the holdup? And a lot of boxes, okay? Just hold on to your ass. Ooh. It's like all I'm good for is waiting around. Jesus. Huh. Shit, where'd that come from? Taking these guys out fast. Any more? I think that's it. We'll go up top and check real quick, though. Just to make sure. I don't see anybody there. Oh, see. Now that's it. Let's go ahead and go downstairs and get the hell up out of here and go talk to Whitechapel Charlie. See everybody in just a second. Better keep your iron strapped on. Friendly advice. I don't know why I started hiding. <laughs> Let's go in the third rail. Entertainments down the stairs. Sweet pit boy, brother. You hold on. To hey, me. Charlie. I've heard some exterminator cleaned out the rats in the old warehouses. Wouldn't know anything about that, would you? I might. Depends on what you have for me. Here you are. Every single cap, as agreed. Hell of a load you now let's go talk to Mayor Herringcock. We'll take this entryway. Your buddy McCready's got a rep here in Good Neighbor. Bad attitude. Good aim. Too bad about Finn. Gonna miss him next Super Mutant attack rolls round. Oh well. What can I do for our newcomer? What's your story, Hancock? My favorite subject. I came into this town about a decade ago. Had a smooth set of skin back then. While I was busy making myself a pillar of this community, I would go on these, like, wild tears. I was young. Any chems I could find, the more exotic, the better. Finally found this experimental radiation drug. Only one of its kind left, and only one hit. Oh man, the high was so worth it. Yeah, I'm living with the side effects, but hey, was not to love about immortality. You're immortal? Well, not exactly. Ghouls just age really, really slow. Something about the rads, maybe? Oh, who knows? You're a hell of a risk taker, Hancock. Only have one life. Why not try it all? Anyway, did you need something else? Looking for work. Work, huh? Hmm. I'll tell you what, I got reconnaissance needs. There's a lot of weird talk coming in about a place called the Pikmin Gallery. It's raider territory up there, but they've been quiet. Like uncomfortable post-coitus quiet. Snoop it out and give me the word. I might be interested, but let's talk money, Hancock. Okay. Usual job pays 200, but I like you. So let's push it to 250. You said things have gone quiet up there. 
That means extra risks to cover. I like where your head's at. Let's make it 300 caps. If you can't put real money on the table, I'm out. Ruthless. Nice. You might actually live long enough for me to pay you. All right, 400 caps. But that's all the town coppers can bear. Scout out Pickman Gallery. On it. Cool. Be thorough, okay? I'm not paying for a look-see. Find out what's really going on there. A new player and good neighbor. Hello, little pawn. Let's go downstairs, and we're going to head uh, to Pickman Gallery. You been to Diamond City? Good noodles. Bunch of that. Hey. We're not going far. We're actually going to stop by Finuel Hall first, grab a magazine, take out some super mutants, and pick up a kind of quest. More of a treasure hunt than a quest. Let's crouch. We have a few ghouls here. I think actually two, not really a few. Yeah, exactly. Wow. You're not going to need that stuff anymore. Give me the ammunition. I want to worry about the super mutant right here. First. Time to die! And the reason why is because he has a rocket launcher. <laughs> You know what sucks? Hey, Being shot like by a missile. <laughs> Just saying. Let's go go inside Finuel Hall. You got a light on that fancy wristwatch? Who's there? Who's there? Should be a few more super mutants over here. Yeah, what? there you are. I One hear more. something. Ugh. I can hear you. That's fine, bud. Also, you can turn on these uh, protectrons. What was that? I'm not going to. Something it's, there. in my Ugh. personal not opinion, today. not worth it. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Pass the door. You can't hop out. I knew it. Gotta tear you apart. This place used to be a market before the yeah. Now, I wouldn't need it here if you paid me. Please, play that die! Believe they're in here. Yeah, I see his foot. Oh! Goodness. Oh, oh shit, I need to heal myself. I'm always doing that. <laughs> Disarm the handmade. Um, I don't know. Let's go down here real quick. Yeah. There's one over here. It's alright. You humans made us. Now suffer for your arrogance. Uh, don't worry about that. That's. That is a settlement quest. I'm not gonna bother with it. Doesn't bother me. Where'd you go? Huh? Gonna find you. Gonna kill you. You'll ever make. 
Let's grab the uh, Live and Love magazine. Hell yeah. Gives our companions uh, plus 10 health. Pretty awesome. What? I might put that on. I might actually use that. That's that's pretty awesome. More charisma and intelligence? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go upstairs. Let's come over here. We're going to go to this grasshopper. Perfect. And we get food for thought. Or food for the grasshopper, not for food for thought. Go to our miscellaneous. We have to read this food for the grasshopper to com uh, to continue this quest. And we're going to hop down here. Hop down here. Just keep hopping down. Uh, again, I'm not going to bother looting that stuff. I said again. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to loot those bodies. Not important to me. We can stand up. Walk normal now. Attention. This is now a combat zone. You may suffer harm. Up to and including death if you remain in the area. This notice We're just heading to Pikmin Gallery real fast. Let's crouch again. We have some raiders. Nice. That's a good lever action. I might actually put that on too. Pretty sure we're not alone. Man down! Damn. Now he's just starting to have fun. Any more? No more. Let's go inside uh, Pikmin Gallery. I think we're going to catch this Pikmin Psycho? Slippery bastard got away before. This is fucking crazy. That's how we do things around here. Gonna pick up a message to Jack. Over here. Just had to play hero, huh? You hear that? Ah oh, man, come back! Hey. Oh. Don't do That's what I call a confirmed kill. Go through the hole in the wall. See if I can make this jump. There we go. Cap stash. Not that big of a deal, but still always nice to have caps right i got the door open let's go what the hell was that um should be one more what no ah my life got him that's why i love wow. this explosive pistol i don't need that stuff anymore disarm this mine Pikmin! You can't hide forever, you sick bastard. Let's take some Radex. We're going to need it here for a second. 
you can look over here too if you want that's where we'll be heading it's not really important to go over there and look if it's just to let you know like oh that's the end of the dungeon we need to get over there jump across we can come over here and grab some med meds not med <laughs> who's there what I and forgot that I was not crouched. <laughs> oh, the fucker. Shoot me with a shotgun. Think a little bit of both, McCready. There's a skull. We want that. At least I do. Okay. That's just about the Scared, worst thing huh? I've ever smelled in my Shit. entire life. That smells absolutely terrible. By the way, you didn't have to go up top there and come around. <laughs> Could have just walked through the water and come up the stairway there. I just try not to walk in the water as much as I can. Because of radiation. Can't hide forever, Pikmin. You hear me? You're a dead man. You no! Don't you die on me! Time's up. Wow, that's our second legendary raider. I can't see a thing. Damn. Getting some good combat armor. Find him! Find him! <coughs> oh, I did not even know that guy was right there. There we go. What was he using? Almost done with Pikmin Gallery here. Finally got you, Pikmin. Thought you. Hell yeah! Eight times. Ah, damn it! Okay, so who let the cleaning robot loose in here? <clears throat> that was close. Thank you. Those people deserved worse than death. They were cold-blooded killers. They got their pound of flesh. But I'll collect my own again soon. I owe you. If I let you live. I'm helping you just by doing what I love. Why squander such gifts? If you visit my house again, look deep within my painting, Picnic for Stanley, and you will find my gratitude. You'll need this. Uh, Pikmin. Pikmin, Pikmin, Pikmin. Yeah, McCready doesn't like that. Oh well. Not a big deal. We're still going to get a legendary weapon out of it. Yes. Grab this magazine. Now we have plus five to poison resistance, which is good. Excellent. And this is even better. Locks are permanently easier to pick. Love that. I love that bobblehead. Let's crouch and go upstairs. We want to go up these stairs. Hop down. And don't go that way. Go this way. There's a cemetery. With a few ghouls, there, there's not a lot, but there's enough. And then one more 
over here. We're going to go to this grave and grab the treasure. Pick up the legendary sword. Bingo. I'm going to grab all the rest of this stuff. Fear not. And that should be all right. Let's go back down over here. Cut to the right. We're going to go back inside Pikmin's gallery just for a second to grab another legendary weapon. We go to oh, this. Great. Thanks for the nightmare fuel. <laughs> You're welcome, McCready. We're going to grab this painting. And when we do, or actually, I don't think we grab it. We just pull it off. Um, and when we do, we'll uh, go into the safe. Pikmin's blade. It's it's not a bad um, weapon. But again, I'm not a melee character. Oh, there's a skull right there. Come Did on, not even please. know that. Let's go back outside. Let's make our way to the Cabot house. Oh, <laughs> I meant to take this alleyway. Not go up the stairs there. Let me in. Edward Deegan asked me to come here. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. Yeah, I've got a very bad feeling about this place. Come on. Let's go meet the boss. Lead on. Jack, the new guy is here. One moment, one moment. I just have to. He'll be right with us. <laughs> oh, damn. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Edward said you needed to talk to me before he hired me? Yes. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Whoever lives here must have made a deal with the devil. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for- Don't interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? I'm not sure there's any intelligent life in the universe. At least not on this planet. Hey, you joke. But make a good point. Say humans perish from the Earth, as they seem intent upon doing. Say thousands of years from now, a new civilization arose. What would they know of us? I don't understand what this has to do with anything. I'm sorry if I'm rattling on. I sometimes forget not everyone finds these things as compelling as I do. Welcome to the family. OK. You're officially hired. Congratulations. I'm ready to get to work. Good. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? Only about a million. You should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. 
The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? Yep, I'll see you soon with the package. Good luck. Don't get killed on your first job. Oh, it's you. So we're probably not going to do this mission for quite a while. But I wanted to pick it up while we uh, had the opportunity. Let's go outside, then we'll end the video. Alrighty, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I want to tell you all thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe. And like always, everyone, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.